I'm going to try to talk while Wonka growls at somebody outside. Anyway, so a lot's happened overnight in the uh, whole Boston bombing uh, situation. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what these guys were doing at MIT, but they wound up uh, killing a police officer at MIT, taking his car. Um, the black hair, the black hat suspect um, that they're calling suspect number one um, has been killed, and now they are on the lookout for um, suspect number two, which is the white hat um, suspect, and um, they haven't found him as of now, which is, it's about 2 p.m., um, and they haven't found him. I think they're at their apartment right now, and they might be doing a controlled explosion of maybe another bomb that they have um, found. I don't know. Um, I've been, like, looking on and off at the news to um, see what's going on. Um, and, I, and a lot of this happened overnight, so that's, like, it was just a crazy night. And um, apparently, um, they after they killed the, um, the officer, they... Um, they held up a 7-Eleven. It's like, what do you, uh, I don't know. These guys are something else. Um, you would think after, um, like pulling off such a horrible thing that, that needs much planning, um, that they would get the rest of it, you know, they would have an idea of what they're going to do, um, afterwards, but, um, it just looks like they're, they're running scared. Um, <clears throat> So I hope they catch him alive, just so, um, not only that we can find out why they did this, but, um, so at least one of them can pay for what they've done. So, um, yep, that's what's going on. It's kind of crazy. Um, so I'm going to go back to watching the news. No more. No more. <gasps> Who are you talking to like that? <gasps> I said no more. <gasps> no. No. No talking back. <laughs> Why? What else? What else do you have to say for yourself? <coughs> oh, really? <coughs> and then what? Anything else? <laughs> Enough. No more. No more. <laughs> Tell everybody what had to happen because you were barking. I had to close the blinds. No more looking outside. Because puppy had to go barking. There's no more outside. Now we can't get the nice breeze in because puppy had to go barking. You sorry? You sorry? <laughs> no. That doesn't sound like a sorry to me, mister. You done? You gonna be a good boy? You gonna be a good boy? Whoa. No. <laughs> You're not going back out up there. You have to stay down here. 
You've lost your looking out the window privileges for the day. No, you're done? Okay. Right now, Cablevision is outside for the second time this week. Don't know which one of my neighbors called them, or if it's two different neighbors calling them, or what, but it's annoying because these people decide to put up a ladder and climb right outside my window, and I, the other day I didn't know that they were doing that, and I kind of felt violated, and today I saw their van out there, so I closed the blinds before um, they were able to climb, and who knows, they could be right outside my window right now listening to what I'm saying. So, yeah, all I know is Wonka is going crazy, I'm trying to calm him down, um, oh boy, now he's crying. What? What does that matter? I'm talking. I'm not allowed to vlog, this is all about you now? She's Louise Pup. Anyway, so that's what's going on right now. Um, this whole Boston Marathon bombing story has just got way out of control. Like, last night when we saw that there was a, um, a shooting at MIT, like, I was like, could this could be connected? Or maybe, I was like, it, there, it's kind of impossible that it could be connected. I was like, the world's just gone crazy. And then, it, you know, this morning to find out that it, that it, it is connected, and one of them is dead now, and it's just, it's just crazy. I just can't believe how crazy, how crazy this whole thing has gotten. Um, you know, basically, like, three or four, like, maybe up to six towns um, including Boston, they're shut down. Like, everyone's talking about how it's a ghost town. Everybody's in their houses. There's no schools, no public transit, no nothing. Like, they're just trying to find this one guy. And it's just, um, I hope they find him soon. Um, yeah. So people can stop being, you know, fearing for their lives. You don't know where this guy is or what he's capable of or, or anything. So, um, it can't be easy to be living in those areas right now. Um, yeah. And another unrelated issue. <laughs> it's kind of weird to go from that to this, but like, I'm sick of being unemployed. I need to find something. I wish that I could like work for myself. Like, I, I, I really wish I could just work for myself and, and make money, you know, doing something that I love doing, so doing something from home so I could be around all the time. But, um, you know, that's not really um, happening right now, so, um, I have to find something, and it's just been really tough, there's not, you know, not only are there not many available jobs out there, and then when I do, um, when I, the ones that I have been applying for, I'm not getting any responses, so, that, it's just really frustrating, um, it's, you know, as I said, it's already been, it's over a year now, um, a year and, like, a week, yeah, and a year and exactly a week, um, basically, that it's been, and, um, I, unfortunately, I don't see any light at the end of the tunnel yet, and you hear that noise back there? I'm trying to vlog, and they're just moving around their ladder. <sighs> anyway, I just don't see any light at the end of the tunnel, and it's just really frustrating because there's just so many things I want to do, and, I, you know, um, I can't do them. I'm, I'm, I got my hands tied behind my back, and it really sucks. Uh, I can't really go on with my life. I'm kind of, like, stuck in the same place. And, um, it's scary because it just, I don't see any way out right now. It's just really frustrating. But I just gotta keep doing what I'm doing. You gotta keep fighting. You gotta keep going forward. There's no giving up here. So, um, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so right now it seems like they got the... The suspect number two, white hat guy, um, cornered. He's in a boat um, in the backyard of ah, in the backyard, of, in the backyard of someone. Wonka. 
So um, I'm following people on Twitter that are listening to police scanners. The CNN and Fox News don't have the information that people, uh, what the police scanners do. So um, I don't know how long it's going to take until the um, the news stations get word of uh, of what's actually happening. I'll probably read it on Twitter first, but that's what's going on. And Waka wants to steal the vlog once again. It's crazy. I hope they get them alive, but I don't know. We are listening to the police scanner now. That's the latest. That's all I'm going to say. But our food smells so good in the other room. But I don't want to miss anything. So we have to wait. Okay, so it sounds like they got him in custody. And they're calling for a medic. So that's all we have from the scanner so far. And uh, the news still hasn't caught up with what's going on. But Oh. And I guess uh, the at the scene everybody was clapping. So, oh. Is it Anderson Cooper so handsome? Oh wait, that's not what I was showing you. See, it says witness applause at standoff scene. But it's loud in here, so they got him. We'll let's see what happens next. It's a hot scene. Hot. Okay, so they got him, as I said, and after all that excitement, I'm going to end it for today, so I'll see you guys tomorrow, um, and good night.